This week, I wanna share with you guys a really amazing, nourishing, beautifying at-home treatment you can do at night that will have you waking up just feeling absolutely amazing. Hey guys, it's Mona, and today I wanna to share with you a little nighttime routine that I did the other night that had me just waking up feeling so refreshed and beautiful, and I feel like every woman should wake up feeling like that, and this is just almost like an at-home spa treatment. Not only do these um, products really make you feel beautiful. They're actually really good for you too. Everything's really nourishing. We cover everything from your hair to your skin to your body. So I really wanted this video to be authentic. So I just took a shower. I've done part of the treatment so far and I'm gonna go over the rest of them with you. So the first thing I did was use this coconut oil. I actually keep one coconut oil in my shower and I keep one in my kitchen. So if you're shaving your legs, your arms, whatever it is, coconut oil is the best like makeshift shaving cream. It's so nourishing, it's so moisturizing. And after you shave, let's say you're shaving your legs, when you get out, some of the oil still sits there because you know oil it doesn't really come off just with water. You'd really have to scrub, but it kind of leaves this like essence on your legs and your arms, and it keeps them extra hydrated. I feel like it just like locks in moisture, and it also smells really good. So this is so amazing to go to bed to. It's just like very soothing and relaxing, and it's really important to feel calm and soothed and relaxed when you're going to bed, so you get a really nice good night's sleep. So that's the coconut oil that I use. Second is using this apple cider vinegar hair rinse so this is ACV by DP Hue so apple cider vinegar is really really amazing for your health as you guys know a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and ask about taking apple cider shots in the morning or at night not only is it good to take you know to actually ingest but it's actually good for your hair and skin too so what I really love about apple cider vinegar is that it has antibacterial antiviral and antifungal properties which is why it's so good for you so Chances are, whatever's going on, it's probably one of those three. If you have some kind of rash or irritation, this is really gonna help. And remember, your scalp health is super important because this is the foundation for your hair follicles, your hair. So if you don't have a healthy scalp, you're not gonna be able to grow as thick and beautiful hair as you normally would. So it kind of, it's on this little like twist top like this and you just squeeze it out. So you part your hair in a few different parts and just kind of squeeze it onto your hair and massage it in. I let it sit in for a few minutes, like maybe two or three minutes, then I rinse it out. Some people like to use this along with shampoo. I like to give my hair a break from shampoo certain nights, so on this kind of spa beautifying night, I take a break from shampoo and I just use the apple cider vinegar rinse. So on the nights that I do this treatment, I like to just use the apple cider vinegar rinse. I kind of give my hair a break from everything and just let it kind of restore and refresh. Okay. So now that we're out of the shower, the next thing I like to do is put in this leave-in conditioner. This is by Unite. This is a seven second leave-in conditioner. I really like this one. My hairdresser recommended it to me um, you know, a few months back and I really enjoyed it. it just basically gets a little bit in your hair. I usually try to avoid my roots with conditioner because that weighs it down. It's important to make sure you're using a wet brush. So make sure whatever brush you're using is meant for wet hair and kind of start at the bottom and just gently brush this through. So you just kind of brush that in. Another thing I like to do when I actually go to bed is I'll put it in like a really soft braid to the side. It's, you, you don't wanna wear your hair up tight when you're sleeping. I mean, in general, try not to wear your hair up in a tight ponytail. I save that for just like nights out and when I really want it to look good, but when I'm at home, I try to just let my hair be. I've honestly noticed such improvements. Even my hairdresser has said my hair looks thicker at the roots. Um, it's not breaking as much. If your hair gets in your face while you sleep, a low braid is actually really helpful. This also just ends up giving it like a wave while you're sleeping, it's just like, a really loose braid and you wake up and you'll have kind of like a scrunched wave if you wanna not wash your hair in the morning. The next thing I like to do is use my Sarah Hap lip scrub, lip mask, and lip moisturizer. I feel like everyone across the board can relate to having dry lips. I mean, it's just a common problem for guys, girls. This is the best product I've used in a very, very long time. I can't say enough good things about it. I feel like when you truly love something, you want to share it. Like you just naturally want other people to see it and experience it, and that's how it's been with Sarah Hap. So the first one is this like lip scrub. It's very natural, it's just like sugar-based, so you don't really even have to worry about rinsing it off. You just put a little bit on, 
and scrub it onto your lips. I do it for like maybe 30 or 60 seconds and then wipe it off with um, a tissue. You don't really have to use water, but you can. So you can take, sometimes you can wet it a little bit. So it's really important to exfoliate your lips before applying any kind of treatment because this is going to get all the dead skin off or any dry skin so that you can have like a good foundation for the actual treatment you're going to put on. So the next thing I'm going to do is the Serahap Lip Mask and it's really cute and pink you can see and I'll apply a little bit of it on my lips kind of like a clay mask and you can leave this on for I don't know maybe one minute that's usually what I do. So after you take that off, you can go ahead and apply this like night lip treatment. This is called the Dream Slip. And this one you can just leave on overnight. Already your lips will feel like rejuvenated, but then in the morning, you'll wake up with like the softest lips. Okay, now our lips are taken care of. So the next thing we're going to do is this DermaQuest Mini Pumpkin Mask. This is a really amazing mask. Um, it's got pumpkin, which has a lot of amazing antioxidants. It's also got lactic acid, which is really great for getting rid of dead skin cells. It's gonna give your skin a glow, and it's also really gonna help decongest your pores. So this is just a really good all-around mask if you feel like your skin's like congested and dull and your pores are clogged. I would say to use it maybe once a week. So you're gonna put maybe a quarter sized amount. Avoid like the insides of your nose right here. Avoid too close to your eyes. It smells like pumpkin. Okay, make sure that's all rubbed in. You're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. After five minutes, you're gonna rinse it off. Probably a great idea would be to do this while you're doing your lip mask, but you know, I like to keep them separate just in case, you know, things get, that lip mask gets a little bit sticky, so I keep them separate. A few moments later. Okay, so you're gonna take your mask off, and the next thing we're gonna use is this DermaQuest Essential B5 Hydrating Serum. So I'm always talking about hyaluronic acid as a lot of skincare bloggers or skincare experts are talking about, but I think we forget about B5. Vitamin B5 is so hydrating and nourishing. I highly recommend using this along with hyaluronic acid. I always say it's good to hydrate your skin or nourish your skin at all different angles. Like we could use all the hyaluronic acid in the world, which could be targeting hydration from one angle, but maybe there's all these other angles we're not reaching. So B5 is an amazing product. This serum is wonderful. I love it. I love the way it feels on my skin. You can just go ahead and put a really nice layer over your skin. It feels really nice after using that mask. You like this uh, kind of frizzy wave that my hair gets. This is my natural hair. Does anyone else have hair that just kind of dries like nothing? Like it's not really straight, it's not a curl, it's just like a whole lot of nothing. We're so lucky. That's the B5 gel. And then lastly, we're going to use the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I tried this a few weeks ago. You know, this is a mask that you can either put on for like 10 minutes, you can use overnight. A lot of, it's meant a lot of times for planes or right after a plane because your skin gets dry and irritated. I found that I really like using it overnight because it's so hydrating and moisturizing. So after a serum like that, I'll just massage it right in. And this is a mask that you don't notice. There's no color to it, obviously. It just kind of feels like you're sucking in moisture into your skin. So you'll definitely go to bed feeling like your skin feels like there's thick product on it, but in a good way, not in a congesting way. One thing I like about Summer Fridays is that there's no fragrance. It's very natural, <laughs> no parabens, sulfate, silicone, synthetic dyes. It's a really good overall, just hydrating, nourishing mask. Now that I've got all my products on, I'm gonna put my hair into that low side braid. 
Also, if you have kind of frizzy hair like I do, this low braid really helps. Wait, uh, it makes you wake up with like that really nice beachy wave that other girls can just get when their hair air dries. I was always like, there's one thing I could have. Imagine just like having perfect hair when it dries, but that's never been me. So this low braid really helps. And that's it. I already feel kind of like I just got out of a spa. I feel really nourished and hydrated and just like, I don't know, good. It's hard to explain. Try it out. Try all these products. I will definitely link these below. I know sometimes I'm late on that, but I'll link these below. All right, if you like this video, let me know. If you want me to do more at-home spa videos or products I'm just really loving, let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram. I post content on there daily. It's at Dr. Mona Van, and I will see you guys next week.